What's the haps? I'm Maroku and welcome, welcome, welcome back to Valhalla! I said I would do this a little while ago, so uh, yeah, let's uh, let's uh, delve back into the content that has been remastered. Uh, you'll notice on the title screen up here we have a little plus sign. We have two drop downs. Anna is the demo. I don't think the demo is changed in any way, shape or form from the demo that we played before. I had a quick tiptoe into it and it looks and plays exactly like I remember the demo playing, so I don't think that's changed in any way, shape or form. But we have Prologue, which has three days worth of content. There is some stuff to do here. Some new stuff. We, I mean, we've been here before, but they've added to it, they've remastered it, they've done it with a new, the, you know, the new graphical style. And yeah, there's new stuff there. So we are going to go and replay the Prologue and refresh ourselves with what happened and what went down with the dogs and everything, you know. But before we do, it's cocktail time, you know it's cocktail time. This is what I wanted to do for a while. I don't know what it's called because I invented it and I haven't named it, so uh, feel free to shout out names for it in the comments below. It is based on, I think I showed you this before, I have a little miniature bottle of Drunken Bee Honey Rum Liqueur. You can just about make that out. Um, it is honey and rum. It is 50 mils at 30% ABV. It is a liqueur, it is not really a rum, you can't call it a rum at 30%. It is not that, but it is delicious. I tried a little bit of it. That's been sat on my desk for about six months, waiting for me to find a use for it. And this is going to be the use for it, basically. Um, I have ingredients. We have ginger beer. You know, um, I figure we can make something out of this. Rum and ginger is a fairly standard thing. Uh, some lemon. I think some lemon would go nicely in there. Because uh, honey and lemon goes together. So you got rum and ginger beer. you got honey and lemon. Um... They seem like ingredients that will work together, I don't know. I have, I, instead of ice like standard, I invest in these, which are really tacky and terrible and cheap and awful and Chinese, uh, but they make ice balls. So I have a couple of frozen ice balls and um, I actually haven't, this is the first time I've used them. I don't know how good they're going to be, but we'll see. So first things first, I'm going to cut a slice of lemon. I'm going to do a kind of a lemon wheel kind of affair. So let's see how good my knife is. Good enough to cut through a lemon at this stage. So a fairly generous, chunky garnish. I always tend to, like, you know, do a big ass slice. I like if you if you're gonna put some fruit in it, you want it to be a good chunky wedge of lemon. So that from here is gonna go in the bottom of the glass. I'm gonna do this kind of same way I do old fashions. I don't know if other people do it this way, but um, old fashioned fruit in the bottom of the glass, and then you take one of these things, which is a muddler, which again I, I think I invested in since I last recorded Valhalla. It's a big flat tipped thing that you can use to bash people with. Or you can bash some fruit and squeeze some juice out of it. So you kind of just muddle the lemon at the bottom. It's going to squeeze some of that lemon juice out, some of the oils in the peel. It's just going to mush it up a bit. You don't want to, you know, pulverize the fruit, but you know, just to, just to soften it. Just, just, just mess it up a bit. Get a bit of juice out of it. A bit of deliciousness. So now we have one very soft and juicy lemon in the bottom. A drop of lemon juice in there. We're going to add our ice cubes. Let's see how we have these turn out. Uh, well, there's a big air bubble in the top of it. Can you see? Yeah. That bit didn't freeze, and I don't know where it went, actually. Um, presumably in my freezer somewhere. And I don't know how you get the ice ball out now into your cup. Or glass. Whatever. Uh, nope, there is no way to do that. Not practically speaking. Dang it! I mean... All things considered, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. I like that. A little ice. Uh, there are devices you can buy that make ice balls like completely and utterly pure and spherical and like without anything in the middle of them. You're like, this one clearly has some air bubbles and stuff and strike streaks in the middle of it. Oh my god, this does not come once come out. How do you get it out? It needs it needs a removal method. Okay, I think I got it. Yeah, one ice ball. Uh, I got two ice balls because I thought, oh yeah, I can get two ice balls in a glass. I straight up cannot. That's one ice ball in a glass. The other one can sit there and melt then, I guess, for a while. So we got our lemon, we got our ice. We're going to add our honey rum liqueur. I don't need no measures because this is exactly 50 mils. That's quite a lot, huh? How about that? 
It's been sat in pl a plastic bottle for a while. It kind of wanted using. I don't. I don't appreciate spirits being sat in plastic bottles for a long period of time. So, then uh, the highest quality of ginger beer. I've never actually tried this stuff before, but Fever Tree do good mixers generally. They're generally regarded as one of the best mixers you can get. I've not tried their ginger beer before. Actually, I should probably have upended this first just to like any sediment that might be in there. Once just stirring up a bit. The last time I used ginger beer, I used like the Belvoir stuff, I guess, which I quite like. It's very good ginger beer, but I just figured I'd give this one a go. So I guess we just top it up with that. That's um, it's a high rum to mixer ratio in this particular glass, but probably a good thing. Right. Oh, and the lemon has kind of floated up underneath the ice there. That's a that's quite a nice looking drink. It looks tasty. Let's find out if it is tasty. That's tasty. That's a good drink. I'm kind of not get maybe I maybe I I say there wasn't a lot of spirit to mixer in there, but I maybe not getting as much of the rum liqueur as I might like in there. Very subtle. It's at the back. You, mm, yeah, there's some sort of. You can get. You can get the honey notes kind of at the back of your throat. You're like, mm, yeah, there's some honey in there. That's nice. That's nice. Not really picking out any rum. The rum's not very distinctive in its own way. The, the honey more so than the rum. A little bit of lemon on the aroma there at the top. I think that's because I just got lemon in my nose. You got it floating on the surface. You stick your nose into it. It's like, hmm, I can smell the lemon. Well, the lemon is under your nose. Of course, you can smell the lemon. It's a good combination of flavours, though. That's a tasty drink. That's a tasty drink. Uh, right, I am going to... I was going to just put all this stuff to one side, but I've got stuff that's soggy and melting now, so I suppose I should clean this up before we actually start. Okay, if we're ready to commence... Drink in hand, if you're drinking along at home. We shall. Let us... Ooh, that, ooh, that's more honey. I get more, ooh, the money, the, the, the money, the money and the honey. The honey is sort of infused. I got more honey there. Now it's tasty. Hmm. Uh, right, prologue. Prologue day one. Friday, December 9th. Yeah, evening. Well, at least one of my employees showed up. Huh? What about Gil? He mumbled something about holes and pests and asked for a couple days off. Yeah, business as usual then. Not quite. How so? I mean, no, it's not Gil. A business will be a tad different through the weekend. Uh, we got booked. Uh, that's a new one. Who made the booking? Uh, the Seafar Toy Company. They make toys for dogs. It's their anniversary or something like that. Uh, we usually don't reserve the bar. Why do it this time? The clients are adorable. Excuse me? You'll see. Anything special I should know? Uh, they'll give you a ticket to trade in for any drink they want. Just do your usual thing. Fair enough. I'll be in my office. Call me if you need me. Yeah, uh, sure. Well then. Jukebox. This wasn't actually in the original, was it? Um, and I guess it's just whatever you've unlocked in the main story. I suppose. Is it? Is there anything I... I oh, man, I need to try and remember. What have I unlocked? There's re-snowfall and re and titans. Those ones are new. Hang on. Hey, they weren't in here before, and I only there were some of the, some of them you had to unlock, and I can't think if any of them were things that we unlocked. I guess uh, Kiramiki, you had to buy her thing, didn't you? Which was your love is a drug. Is that in here? No. Okay, so this is not based on what you've unlocked in the main storyline, huh? Okay. I'm intrigued as to what re-snowfall is and rebase the titans. And base the titans. I remember not liking base the titans. I think we'll give that one a miss. That one is still not to my tastes. That is different to what I remember that being, but I mean, base of Titans there is. 
Yeah, that's, di that's different. Different. It's remixed. I guess that's what RE is. Remix. Uh, Come Tree and Dream is a fun song. Uh, Neon District's alright. What else? Uh, with Renewed Hope. I don't know. Hey, Renee. All systems go. March of the White Knights. I don't know if that was a good one, actually. Um, good for Health. Drive Me Wild. And Neon Glow Lights. Sure. Boom. Yay! New Snowfall. Cool. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Um, excuse me. I'll have a Grizzly Temple. Hello? Uh, a dog. A, a talking dog? Uh, are you with the Seafar Toy Company? Yeah. Did I arrive too early? No, um, the clients are adorable. Son of a bitch. A Grizzly Temple, right? Coming right up. Uh, this dog wants a Grizzly Temple. Now we don't know how to... We don't remember how to make any of these things, sure. Uh, one, two, three of those. Three Bronson Extracts. One, two, three of those. And a... Not a Flanagide. No, put that back. One Karma Tree. Blended! That is a Grizzly Temple. Have that. There you go. Thanks! This is gonna be a long weekend, isn't it? Hey, is a Bronson extract here produced using organic roots? I don't know that information. Anyone I can talk to about that? Here? Yeah, right now? No. But you should have that information on hand. Every BTC certified bar is no different from a fast food chain. We get the same supplies as everyone else. Ask BTC officials if you want to know. But you should... But we don't. What? Saying that we should over and over again is not going to change reality. Oh my god, I literally just had to deal with a guy like this. <laughs> is this saying too much? I had to deal with a guy like this at work this week. He was like, you should do this! I'm like, but we don't. But you should! But we don't. But you should do this! But we don't. The more you say it, doesn't mean it's going to happen. You can say it all you want, but all you're doing is wasting both of our times. Uh... At least I'm the only, not the only person who has to deal with clients like that, even if the other people are fictional, hey. Give me something with lots of Bronson Extract, then. Okay. Uh, I guess that's under Bitter Drinks, probably. That is... Eh, it's not a lot of Bronson Extract. It's got some in it. Pile Driver? That's alright. Suplex? Uh, suplex is plenty, yeah. We suplex this dog. One, two, three, four, and three. Wait, no, uh, uh, take it out, undo, undo. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, not four, one, two, three. On the rocks and mix it. Here you go. What the hell is this? Your order. This is what Bronson extract tastes like? Sorta, yeah. Well, fuck that noise, it's not worth the effort. <sighs> no, it's not. Uh, excuse me. Oh, thank God, a person. Well, as much of a person as the designated driver can be. Uh, what I mean is, uh, why are there so many dogs? Why dogs? Why? Well, the Corgis created the Seafar Toy Company and they've been doing a great job, so... A company run exclusively by dogs? Really? And, and a good one at that. Their only problem is that they have a uh, not-so-discreet preference for hiring Corgis exclusively. Why? Uh, something about being more comfortable around their own kind. Are you with them? Well, I do prefer corgis, but... No, no, I mean, are you working with them? Yeah, well, I'm only here because the law requires at least one humanoid on the payroll. Does the law really cover such scenarios? Uh, why take a job like this? Because it means I'm surrounded by corgis all day long. Designated driver woes aside is the closest thing to heaven. Although, to be fair, I'm not much of a drinker anyway. I see, well, to each their own. Are you gonna drink anything? Uh, do you have anything non-alcoholic? Uh, let's see what I can fetch you. Uh, did you intend to make a fun? A, pu a pun? A pun? Never mind. It's because she sa I said fetch, right? Uh, okay, we have... There isn't a non-alcoholic category. Uh, what has no alcohol in it? Uh, I have no idea offhand. We can make a frothy water, which is non-alcoholic. I can't imagine anybody would ever want that. Promo drinks, I don't know, Zenstar has everything in it. Grizzly Temple, we already get a Grizzly Temple. Sugar Rushes are optional, right? I can make you move. Yeah, let's do the classic, the classic, the Sugar Rush. Optional Karmatrine. 
mix it up. Here you go. Thanks. Are you sure this isn't alcoholic? I'm pretty sure. Okay. I, I think last time I did this, I actually get, served him a bunch of alcoholic drinks anyway. And apparently he still he still doesn't trust you, even when you actually genuinely don't serve him alcoholic drinks. Listen, I need to know. Is it really going to be only corgis today? And holy crap, this drink is good! God damn! Oh. Why did I only buy a mini of the friggin' honey rum liqueur? Why did I not get a bottle? I am not going to be able to buy more of this stuff until September, I think, when the guy who sells it brings these markets back to my hometown. He doesn't, well, he doesn't own the market, but he sells it at a market store. Um, I don't know, I mean, there must be someone sells it online, I don't know. Look a look, I suppose. Damn, that's a good drink, that's a good drink. Give me a name for it, guys, I need a name for that freaking cocktail. Uh, I need to know, is it really going to be co only corgis today? Is that all I'm going to do all night? Serve the same kind of dog over and over? Well, the vast majority of them are Pembroke Welsh corgis. There are a couple of Cardigan Welsh corgis, but the relationship between the two breeds is a tad difficult, so the Cardigans weren't invited. So, yeah, I guess you'll be serving the same kind of dogs all night. No, I mean, isn't there some other human I might talk to today? Uh, well, there was a woman on staff, but uh, she couldn't come today. Oh, why? Is that a problem somehow? It's not really a problem, we survived worse than this. Like that time when an AA meeting came here asking for non-alcoholic stuff only? Is that a problem? I mean, I guess it's probably not very interesting to serve, but, uh... Serve them. Make money. That's how bars work. You serve people what they want and you make money on it. I guess there's probably a better profit margin on the alcoholic than the non-alcoholic stuff, but... No, that's not true, actually, no. Um... They're serving soft drinks and you like from the bar pump, the you know the hand pump, where the fountain, the kind of the hand fountain thingy. Um, post mix is the technical term for it. They, they, that stuff's cheap as anything. You work in a bar, they will let you just pour drinks from that for free because it costs them almost nothing to use. So when someone just pulls out the pump and just pours you a glass and is like, "Yep, yeah, that's two pound, please," you're getting ripped off. That costs them like pennies to pump, which is why the bartenders will quite gladly just go and just drink it, and it doesn't cost anything, because it costs the bar almost nothing. Trade secrets! Spoiling them all here! Uh, they came in asking, they came in asking for non alcoholic stuff only, but just thinking about the fact that I'm serving drinks to dogs. And at some point, all the choices in my life led me to serving drinks to a group of talking dogs. And it's one of those moments that makes you want to stop and rethink where your life's going. Uh, do you perhaps not like this job? I do, I love every second of this job, but... Dogs! It's like a fashion designer suddenly realizing he's been designing edible underwear. I still don't see what your problem is with the dogs, but I'm not going to force the subject. I'm going to try entertaining myself for a bit. Uh, stuff playing pool is underneath the table. There's also darts in the box next to the jukebox. Great, thanks for the information. Call if you need another drink. Sure. Oh, I'm feeling happy, so I'll get everyone around. Good for you, dog. Uh, actually, it, it's a free bar. I won't let you spoil my mood. I want a Fringe Weaver. Coming right up. Right, Fringe Weavers. I'm so glad the main game wasn't packed out with all the, the filler dog contents. That's very nice. Uh, Aged and Mixed. Have a Fringe Weaver. Here you go. Still an awesome day. What the hell kind of name is that? Wait, who named, who named their dog that? Oh, well, that's an alpha male kind of name, I suppose. No, oh, what's an alpha male gonna do to get some service? How well may I serve you? Beer, and quickly. Coming right up. Oh, can I remember how to do a beer? One, two, one, two. Uh, that's four, five, uh, one, two, three, four, isn't it? One, two. It's a beer! I remember how to do beers. Here you are. Damn, you're a slow piece of shit. Hey boss, what was the opposite of deja vu again? Ah, uh, jamais vu. Yeah, that. Uh, are you having a premonition? Something like that. That dog felt uh, uncannily familiar. Uh, are, you, are you bored? Not really, I was playing with the dots a bit ago. I thought about playing pool, but all the other clients are uh, thumb challenged. Sorry if this sounds rude, but 
Why was the dart box so dusty? Uh, you're the first person in the year or so I've been here that's actually played with darts. I think even my boss forgot they existed. By the way, how are the dogs? How are the dogs as clients? Uh, we've had worse. Have you had someone come in and gnaw chairs to pieces? Yes, actually, yeah. She was testing out her new mechanical teeth. Uh, she got banned from entering any BTC bar after that. Uh, with anecdotes like those, you'd think serving dogs would feel totally normal. You'd be wrong, because even then, we were talking about humans. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've served a dog or two in my time, but they usually come in with someone, and they never talk. Now that I think about it, are these drinks bad for the dogs? Now you worry about that? But no, they aren't. Uh, only cappuccino monkeys are at risk if they drink these, those chemicals. Anyway, you want anything to drink? Uh, surprise me. But, uh, yeah, please keep it non-alcoholic. Okay, sure. Non-alcoholic surprise! Uh, I, I really... Fluffy Dream, is that? Yeah, that's an option. Alright, fine. Surprise could be anything, I suppose. Aged and mixed. Whatever aged means. Fluffy Dream. Here you go. Thank you. Now, this might sound weird to ask, but uh, they talk through their collars, right? That's right. How do they work? No, it's not too hard, really. They're just translators. They read the dog's brains and turn their thoughts into words. Do keep in mind that today's dog breeds have more cognitive capacity than their ancestors. If you put the translators on dogs from a decade ago, they wouldn't work like they do now. Yeah, I read something about that once. Another question? Uh, why do they wear those small tuxedos? It's good for PR. You don't say. Well, it'll be a bit before we go for the day. Any other questions? Yes, why the fuck do these dogs want to get drunk? They see humans do it and they think it might be fun. Just like teens, then. Now, if you'll excuse me. Satan's helper. What can I serve you? Moon! Excuse me? Moon! Uh, moon blast? Moon! A uh, big moon blast? Moon! Alright then. This dog wants a big moon blast. I guess so. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Planagite and Carmatrine. On the rocks and blended. Which means shaken a lot. Boom. Big moon. Oh, that was a stu that was a regular moon blast. Boo. Crap. I we does say free bar here up here. At least I'm kind of not being judged too much on my performance today, given that it's literally just the prologue to the game. Basically a demo. I'm not gonna I'm not going to I'm not gonna get my pay docked for poor performance at the end of my shift working a free bar where it doesn't count towards any story progress. Yeah. Moon! Was that a good moon or a bad moon? I guess the dogs literally wouldn't care what I served them to that end. I'm like, I can, I can try and make what they want, but at the end of the day, who actually cares? Hey, Revis K. Pike say, please pay. Uh, Crevice Spike, please? Is that what that was? Sure. Oh, yeah, I understand why, you may? Yeah, yeah, I was a kid too, I know Pig Latin. This dog wants a Crevice Spike. They are like children. Children that want to get drunk. One, two, three, four, and... Um, that doesn't even matter. Who cares how much booze I put in it? Sure. All blended. At least I know somewhere... Ah, at least that's another uh, uh, non-alcoholic one I can uh, give to Deal when he tells me his name, which he hasn't done yet. Oh, Crevice Spike. Yeah, hey. Thanks, Day. Alright, one more drink before we wrap things up. What do you want? No, I'm not picky. Give me anything. Of course. Anything, he says. Uh, that's... Could be alcoholic. Or it could just be a crevice bike that's non-alcoholic because I'm a responsible bartender and would never make him go and crash his car full of dogs. Not in the slightest. Not like I've done that in the past or anything. No, no, certainly not. Yeah. Here you are. Thanks. So, exa what exactly do you do? Uh, sorry if it's rude to ask. Mm, I guess I'm what people call an office boy. 
My duties usually involve looking for things, answering a few calls, that sort of stuff. With this being a dog-run company, there are a lot more responsibilities. Like, getting stuff off of shelves and opening windows. At least they pay well. I see. And how did you end up in that position? Where did you get that offer? My neighbor's the owner of one of the dogs. He told me they needed thumbs. Biggers, uh, they are celebrating the company's anniversary, right? Yeah, five years ago, three corgis became dissatisfied with the quality of existing dog toys. So they founded this company. They got the money from their owners, if I remember correctly. I can see that happening. Somehow. The STC is the second biggest do uh, dog toy company in the world. Fun fact, they started as uh, CFAR Toy Development. Isn't that unfortunate? <laughs> oh, ah, STD. <laughs> Oh, Doris, oh my god, I need to do other voices. I didn't. I still, I still, for some reason, hadn't deleted my list of voices because I'm like, I'm, there's going to be characters that I don't remember what they were. Okay. Hello! Hmm? The bar's favorite sweetheart has arrived. Uh, why are you quiet? I'm waiting for the audience's cheers to start. This isn't a sitcom. Ah, honey, how innocent. Um, excuse me, you are... I'm the lovely Dorothy Hayes, at your sir. Wait, you're a Lilim. Not at your service, then. <sighs> Don't be rude to other clients. She's kind of a regular here. Kind of? I've been coming here religiously for the past three months now. Three months? Well, that's not a long time, really. But it depends how often you turn up, I suppose. I come here to see your charming face and you say I'm just kind of a regular? For shame, honey. For shame. I'm sorry, I guess. Nothing a free drink won't solve. Won't do. Huh? You're playing hard to get? Even if I wanted to give you a free drink, we're booked for the whole weekend. Don't you think you should at least put a sign up front or something? Hey, I only found out myself just a few minutes ago. Uh, she can have one of my tickets if you're okay with it. I see no problem with that. Oh, you're so sweet. If you're at least 40% organic, I would give you a discount. Discounts? Y you do not need to know, trust me. So, new buck to you. This guy? Uh, Seafar Toy Company. What do they do? We, um, they create dogs. Oh, lovely. Uh, do they create dogs? Oh my god! We're just forging do dog toys. Let's try that. You did say dog toys, right? Dog toys, yes. Um, <laughs> they just, they just, they just did, do they just, you know, Stick some stem cells in a mold, wait a few days, and leave it to bake, and uh, you know, a, do a dog comes out! That's how it works, they just make dogs! <laughs> oh wow, no, uh, that's not how that works. Oh, lovely! Uh, it's also run by dogs. Oh, don't joke like that. Can you get kid about something like that? Uh, you mean if I turn around, that I, I, if I turn around, I, I'd see dogs? Uh, yeah, didn't you see them when you came in? Uh, I just entered without looking anywhere else but the bar. Uh, you look troubled. Uh, I'm not too much of a dog person, even, even if I charge- I even charge extra if my clients want it doggy style. Doggy? You, you, I told you, you don't need to know. I, I'm gonna take this ticket and trade in next Monday, I'm leaving right now. Uh, the ticket would have expired by then though. Did that come up in the story? I can't remember if it did. I feel like that... If it didn't, it should have done. They should have been like on day one of the game, Monday morning, it should have been Dorothy comes in with a drinks ticket and was like, I am going to redeem my free drink. I don't remember if she did. I don't think she did. But she should have turned up with a free, tr free ticket drinking on. I'm going to redeem this. And you'd be like, no, it's expired. Pay for your drink. <laughs> Though anybody who didn't play the prologue, that would have confused the hell out of but at the same time, I don't think the developers care about that. They just like go with whatever for this game. It's just like, here, we're making references to all sorts of things that nobody gets. I mean, the Virgilio was literally a reference to some really bloody obscure fictional character on YouTube. Uh, she looks like the kind of girl that would hold you to promise regardless. Is that obvious? Well, I have to gather the cabs outside. Keep it up, bartender. Good night. Yeah, you too. Good night, come again. Night sirs, the night's over. You have kennels you need to return to. All done? Yeah. Boss, how do you end up being booked by dogs? I know some dogs myself. Huh? And you told me we were booked the whole weekend, right? 
That's right. Please be honest, we're all doing our part after all. Yeah, yeah. Well, I gotta get. I gotta go for today. Bye. Take care. Oh shoot! Oh, okay. I kind of. I. I actually genuinely expected the game to throw me back out to the main menu. It really doesn't, and because because they had like the three is day one, day two, day three. I thought you just play through them like boop, 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 and just play the days individually when you feel like it. Um. I guess he doesn't. Okay. I right. Cool. I'll. See you next time with day two, I suppose.